Okay, time now is 10.54 a.m. in the morning on June 11th. Um, slept from 5.05 a.m. till... Um, till 10.15. But I went back to sleep for a little longer. Oh, fuck me. I really didn't plan to sleep so late, but I really had to finish the movie Bullet in the Head, which was two hours and ten minutes long. Um, but yeah, I immediately fall asleep at least. I mean, come on. I worked out and jumped around playing badminton. That's not a cockroach. Um... Yeah, so today I am going to my own graduation ceremony, except I'll probably be continue I'll probably be showing up as guest because I don't want to buy the cap and gown. I think Rachel's also going. I don't know because Rachel made an Instagram story asking if anyone's going. Um and Rachel told me that apparently the cap and gown is supposed to be free because it was free last year. But, um, I don't know. It says $48 this year. If it costs, I'm not going to get it. If it doesn't cost, then sure, I'll walk on, this, on the stage. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Um, yeah, it's a graduation ceremony and I, and I, and I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, yeah, last night, um... I had dinner super late at like 11 p.m., which is bad. Part of the reason why I slept so late. Um, right before, in fact, I called my mom right after I filmed my thing. And then right after, when I was calling my mom, I suddenly received an email and a notification from eBay saying that uh, Nisei Monogatari have arrived. So I immediately went outside after I called my mom and I picked up my Nisei Monogatari Blu-ray. It's here, it's real, it's fucking amazing. Um, so now I only have like three more Blu-ray boxes from the Monogatari series to buy. Um, and two of them are available. And one of them is out of print. So suddenly finishing my Monogatari Blu-ray collection isn't so hard. So that's great. Um, so yeah, yesterday was definitely way more happy. Um, even though I'm still struggling in some places, but one thing for sure I did was uh, I found the right place. Um, the third spot is the place. I called my mom and my mom's like, well, sounds like that's the perfect place for you to be. There are some downsides still, like, I'm living with six other people, and there are stairs, um, and it's gonna be a hassle to go up and down if I cook, if I want to cook food, or, you know, also I think there are two fridges, uh, there are one fridge, which is a bit of a problem, because... I don't know how seven people are going to use one fridge. Um, but either way, I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign the lease. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Um, seems like a promising place. I can see myself living there long term, even after graduation for many, many years. I can see myself living there. So... That's cool. And now the next challenge is to find people to help me move. That's the next challenge. Another thing is Liam. Liam's interview. I, at night, DM'd Liam a bunch of things. Paragraphs. Um, and, um, this morning Liam said, yes. Yes, I'll do it. Let's set up a time and date. Easy. I didn't need to show Liam any footage from any interview whatsoever. I just explained to him what's going on. Um, 
yeah, so that's that's great. That's exciting. Exciting things, indeed. Yeah, I didn't write script. I didn't read. I didn't really do much with uh, editing the documentary last night. Not productive at all. Didn't draw. Spent a lot of time doing nothing. Um, but yeah. I may go to H Mart tomorrow. Yeah. Because I want more food. And I'm running out of it. Kind of. Um. Yeah. And, uh. Today's uh, the 11th, so six days. Six days until I go to Seattle. It's weird because I'm going to Seattle for a week and it's. I'm seeing my family, so it's a huge change in situations. Um, and then. I'm gonna go back to LA for 10 days and then I'm going back to Hong Kong. So. Going to Seattle is like an interlude? Like an intermission? But then going back to Hong Kong is also like an intermission. So it's like an intermission and an another intermission. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, nothing else to talk about. Aside from that. Um, yeah. I'm going to film a review and then I'll go... I'll go out, I'll go to the frigging community college. <sighs> Welcome back. Welcome back, motherfuckers. So much colder here. Oh, the nostalgia. The nostalgia is real. <sighs> okay. Is that Ken? That's gotta be him. I know him by his plate shirt. Graduation music. <laughs> Average Santa Monica music. Now, now we don't know where to go. The front area, they'll be calling for line up there. Uh, where did Cliff go? Uh, bathroom. Oh, okay. Oh my god, glory to Bangladesh. What is that? Omo. He's happy to be here. <laughs> Wait a second, where's that fool? Did he end up getting into a production? No. No, I- Oh, they, they got a Hong Kong flag. It's <laughs> right behind Pakistan. Okay. Oh, they got all the countries. They even got Macedonia. That's cool. They even got Macau. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, they do have Macau. I know one. In film. In film 33, right now. The hunch.
California, let's go. I'm alone. I saw my precious jacket. I hereby confer upon you the bachelor's degree, associate degree, certificate of achievement, certificate of competency, and certificate of completion. And as is academic tradition, students who have not yet earned a degree wear the tassel on their mortarboard on the right side. Once the degree is conferred, the scholar moves the tassel to the left side. Oh, thereby joining the company of SMC graduates before you. Graduates, you may now move your tassel to the left.
Okay, a new challenger has entered the game. I saw a cockroach drop down from here to there. Whoa. Okay, I might be hallucinating or I might be not. Oh, fuck. Why? Jesus Christ. Give me a break. What? I saw a black thing drop down. Oh my god. It was right here. Oh my god. All righty, guys. Um, time now is 11, uh, 10 32 p.m. I haven't even had dinner. Fuck me. Um, but uh, let's talk about today. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my god. Um, didn't expect today to be one of the best days of the year for me so far. Um, I'd say it's definitely in the top five, maybe top three uh, best days so far. Interesting enough. Interestingly enough. Um, yeah, so today I went to the graduation ceremony of my community college. And um, if you have just watched um, the clips that I just presented to you guys, you probably already know what college it is. Um, and it's fine, because I'm leaving, I've left that college already, so if you dox me that way, it's not gonna really help. Um, but anyways, um, I wanted to arrive by 1.30. The graduation ceremony starts around, um, 3, but, um... The, oi, what the, f it's fine. I'll figure that shit out tomorrow. So the graduation ceremony actually starts at three, but um, we are told to arrive sometime between 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. because um, you, know, you need time to wait in line and check in and everything. So, um, yeah, I wanted to arrive at 1.30 because I wanted extra time for myself to do two things. One is go to the student life office to ask if there are any free cap and gowns. Two is to go to the bank or the cashier's office to ask about my tuition refund situation. Um, But of course, given that I woke up a little late and it took a little time to film my Charlie XCX album review, I didn't leave my place until 1.30, and I wanted to bring my USC hat there for fun, just as a joke. I was walking to the metro, about 5 minutes, or maybe 4 minutes into the walking, I realized I forgot the hat, so I walked all the way back just to grab the hat. That's how much I'm dedicated to my joke. Anyways, I walked to the metro, took the metro, and arrived, um, walked, and arrived on campus. Oh my god. Um, it's been a good while since I've returned to the main campus of this college. And by a good while, I mean maybe 10 months. Because the last time I was here, maybe it was um, September last year, which is the last time I did the last interview. Which, oh no, wait, we did interview Carly here. Right, I forgot. Um, which is back in um, January, I believe, or December. I think it was January. Um, so, yeah, honestly, it hasn't really been that long, um, but I arrived, and apparently Cliff has already arrived, um, so I got to Cliff, who was waiting at the HSS already in a blue cap and gown, and then I, as I was walking over there, I also saw Ken, and Ken was, like, doing this, and he's like, yeah, what's up? So, 
I followed Cliff and Ken around for a little longer. So part of me thought that not a lot of people are going to show up. Um, but uh, really, a lot of people did show up. Um, but gradually increased. So we walked around trying to find a check-in spot. Turns out the check-in is at the gym, which I've never really entered. It's the gym room, so it's like not a gym gym, not a workout gym. It's like a gym hall. So we, I went in there, and um, moment of truth. At that point, I still didn't know if... If I have to check in first and then I can leave and then I can go get my cap and gown or can I like check in and ask if I even need one in the first place. If they say yes, then maybe I can just leave and just stay as a guest. Um, but I'm really glad that I didn't end up as a guest. So part of me was like, well, if I really needed a cap and gown to walk on the stage and I don't have a cap and gown then uh, screw it I'll just be a guest and I'll just go to the spectators and I'll just go with Ken because Ken is spectating Ken isn't walking the stage he's not really graduating um and also I don't even know if I'm actually graduating or not I mean sure I have a degree but is it like a 2024 thing like do I really get something out of this? Or is this like a bullshit degree where I get nothing? But turns out I am there. And then I asked the, a woman there. I was like, so I don't have a cap and gown. And she was like, oh, just go to the go to that table and tell them that. So I went to the end of the row of tables at the side of the gym hall. And there were two women there. I spoke, I told one of them I don't have a cap and gown. And they checked below them the table and they got they just handed me a pack a plastic bag of cap and gown holy shit and i thought it's like like borrowing like renting but no i didn't leave an id or anything so i actually don't really have to return it so other people have paid 50 bucks for cap and gown and maybe even more money for a sash I just got it for free. So that was crazy. So I put down my bag in my bag check in. Thank God nobody stole it. And then I just proceeded to put on my cap and put on my gown. And as expected, I look ugly, especially with the cap because I have really long hair now. So like my hair sort of bulges out at the side and it's really difficult to look good with this kind of hair. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Um, and then very soon we saw Kiara and Avihai. Uh, I ran into Jonathan, like, almost immediately. I also saw Andrew F., the grip, um, in Ends and Means. I, I ran up to him, and I was like, hey, what's up? And then more and more people turned up. Benny showed up. Cliff spotted Benny. Benny showed up. And then Christian showed up. Christian tapped me on the shoulder, and I turned around, and it's him. I'm like, whoa, you're still here. I thought... I thought he already moved to New York or something because he got accepted to NYU. And I was like, hey, I heard you got accepted to NYU. And I was like, congratulations. And he's like, yeah, great, you know. And then I proceeded to talk to him a little bit more later. But he's a legitimately talented guy. Let's not ignore that fact. Like, Christian is, is legitimately talented. Like, one of the few people I've met who I was like, okay, He's onto something. He's cooking something. Okay. Um, but, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, and then I don't know who to follow. It's, it's a really surreal feeling. I feel like this graduation ceremony makes up for the lack of graduation ceremony I had in 2020, which I'm sure a lot of people also share the same painful sentiment. Um, but the makeup graduation ceremony I had at the back end of 2021, only a small portion of class 6A showed up, so it wasn't really that satisfying either. But this almost, and I say almost, makes up for it. Um, because I get the feeling of like I can go around and I'll run into people I know and we're all friends together. The thing is, I'm, I've known Christians since 2022. I've known Elin since the back end of 2022. Um, 
since the very end of 2022, and I never really knew knew her until like September 2023, right? Um, but Elin and Christian also became friends, but we never saw each of us together, each two of us together in the same room. So it's actually incredibly fascinating. Christian told me, oh, when I met Yilin, I was like, wait, you know Enoch too? And I was like, yeah, you know, when I met Yilin, I was like, do you know Christian too? <laughs> like, it's all kind of this small world kind of moment. Um, but, um, yeah, and then we just lined up. So more and more people eventually showed up. Yilin showed up, right? Cass, Alba's friend. Alba herself showed up. Hanata. This black guy named Clinton, who is the DIT from WoW, he showed up, um, and he doesn't recognize me at all, which I totally understand. I, I told him I was a PA on WoW, and he was like, oh, really? Um, and then, um, who else? I mean, the bunch, the gang. Takumi is here. Um, Avi Kai, the Israeli guy, is here. Um, Benny also had, like, a girlfriend or something, and it's another white girl, another awkward white girl or not another ariel is not an awkward person but this girl is which is like a downgrade come on um and uh, theo or theo is here as well um kiara said leslie is here too and i was like worried for a moment in fact the moment i strolled the moment i walked into the campus i saw a uh, asian guy with curly hair and another obscured figure maybe a woman i was I stopped, my heart stopped for a moment because I thought that might be Leslie. Thankfully, I never saw her today. But Kiara did tell me that Leslie herself showed up in person today, but not as a graduate. So, thank God I didn't see her. I don't need to see her. She doesn't need to see me. Uh, we, however, did see Drew while we were lining up. We saw Drew. I suddenly hear a bunch of people yelling, Drew, Drew. And I looked, and it's Drew, but in a yellow shirt, which is revolutionary because he always wears blue. So I started yelling, and everyone's cheering. It's so much fun. The thing is, like, it's just a random dude for other departments, but for film, we know who he is. And I'm glad that I also, like, you know, I immediately spotted him and I cheered on. So I, I still can't believe it, because I have this free cap and gown. And I'm not even planning on getting a degree, and I'm just shoved into this situation. So I followed the crowd, followed the line, and went into the soccer field. Oh, the football field. And then there, there are like a, a group of white chairs where we all sat down, and there's like a crowd of people on the spectators. There was a lot of people, and I sat with Jonathan at the end, so Cliff... Kiara, Takumi, Avi, Hai sat together. Elin, Cass, and Christian sat together. Um, and I was with Jonathan. And in front of me was Benny, and then Theo was somewhere nearby. Um, I mean, as much as I love those two gang of friends, the Ends and Means gang is a gang I know. Like, it's a gang we, we bonded over trauma. So anyways, we... Uh, we just sat there, and then the ceremony starts. And it's kind of similar... To the USC commencement ceremony, there are a couple speeches, and then they just read names. We have our cards. We are handed a yellow card where, you know, where we have the name and we have how to pronounce the name. Um, and we just hand the card to a person, the person say my name, and then boom, you know, I got it. So, yeah, so, um... That's that. I, um... We waited and waited and waited. Eventually, our names got called on. I also met Hansu, the Korean guy. Haven't seen him in a bajillion years. Um, but uh, surprisingly, um, Justin, the Malaysian guy, did not show up. Okay. I was like, oh, is that my pajama? Justin, the Malaysian guy, did not show up. And Cliff seems to be a little upset by that. Cliff was like, I don't know what's wrong with Justin. He just wants to smoke weed and go to the gym. I I, I give up on him. <laughs> I haven't seen Cliff this genuinely frustrated. I'm like, did 
damn. Uh, but it's interesting because I thought Justin is coming. Kiara told me Justin's coming, and I also owe him money. So, don't know where he is. Um, but apparently Anna was here too. I was like, oh my god, really? So Anna was here with Valerie Astra, who is this name of a woman who, who's only been mentioned a million times, but I never know who, what she really looks like. I finally got to see her today. Also with Cole um, and Alba and Hinata, who are all friends. Um, but, um, yeah, so I walked the walk. I walked, went up the stage. I wanted people to film me, so some other people, Ken and Victor uh, and also Justin P, the Latino guy, included. Uh, we're also spectators, and I DM. I, I went to the Instagram group chat, and I, and I was like, "Can somebody please film me? I'm about to go up." Um, and nobody seemed to have read that. So instead, when I was beginning to walk up the slope, I looked at Takumi in the crowd, hoping that I would get his attention. And then I waved at him, and he saw me, and I was like doing this. And then so he's like, yeah, okay, so Takumi, I, I, I don't know if he filmed me with his phone or a camera, but he was car carrying like a digital camera. So I think he did film me and it was on digital. So it, it probably looks even better than on camera. I just need to wait a while in order, before I can get the footage. But yeah, I'm glad somebody could film me. Apparently Rachel was here too, but I didn't know she was here until after I walked it. So she didn't take any photos of me because she didn't even know where I am. Um, but anyways, I walked, and then so on and so forth. Other people walked. I filmed everyone else. Um, and yeah, I got to see Anna. I was like, oh my god, Anna. It's crazy. It's been over a year since I've last seen her. In fact, the last time I've seen Anna, truth be told, fucking Torrance. Yes. Um, centuries ago, really. Centuries ago, indeed. So, um, yeah, and Anna's boyfriend, Orson, was here, too, you know. Um, so, um, yeah, we hugged each other. Like, it's funny, because here's an observation. Two, three years ago, if somebody were to, like, randomly hug me, I would be like, oh, okay, okay. But today, I kept hugging people, um, to the point where I'm, like, desensitized to it. In other words, I'm more comfortable about it nowadays. And I and I even, like, do this and people just walk into me and hug me, too. Like, you know. I think I hugged Elon, like, three times today. I even hugged Cliff, which is weird because I never touch Cliff physically. Um, And I say it's weird because we're both introverted men who don't touch others. But I guess we're both so immersed in this touchy culture of America or the West that we're both like, yeah, sure. You know? It's so funny. Um, I also got to see Kiara's ex-husband, who seems like a douchebag. Looks like a douchebag. But anyways, I got to take a lot of photos. It's crazy that I'm in it. Usually I'm like the outsider and I'm jealous that other people are doing it but now I'm in it I took a lot of photos I um people keep taking photos Justin P the Latino guy he brought two film cameras with him um and there are like tons of like flags from different countries including Macau and Hong Kong which is crazy and I did like a Hong Kong flag photo because everyone's doing their own flag like Hanata in front of Brazil Takumi in front of Japan Elin and Cliff in front of Malaysia. Um, I'm sure there are French and Italian and Mexican flags somewhere in there. Um, oh, I also ran into JT, the OG girl. Um, when I was lining up with Jonathan and Chiara and Cliff and a bunch of others, um, I saw JT. I looked over and I saw a pretty familiar girl and I just walked up to her. It's absolutely insane because the last time I saw JT, I believe was when oh my god it was so long ago. i think it was also around summer last year or maybe 
May-ish last year when I was hanging out with Potter and then JT randomly showed up. I think that's the last time I saw her. Truth be told, my hair is extremely long since the last time I saw her. But she still recognized me. She's like, you know, and I got to speak a little Cantonese in the middle of nowhere. Um, but it's crazy because it, it represents both worlds. The first time I met JT, I'm a timid, cowardly person who just sticks to his mom and doesn't have a lot of friends and is extremely awkward. Now I'm surrounded by a bunch of people who are clearly not Hong Kongers. Um, and I'm still able to laugh and talk with them. And I, I, I act so much more normal now. I went to the gym. My back is sore right now. And it, it, it signifies growth. Um, so it's 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 very interesting phenomenon. Um, but yeah, anyways. Um, we took more group photos at the end. Um, but um, I wanted to do my rice is ready. I wanted to do like an ends and means reunion photo with Theo, uh, Benny, Andrew is gone somewhere. I don't know where he is, and Anna. But at the end we didn't. Benny's gone. Um, but yeah, I showed Anna bits of my documentary. Maybe she would be interested in an interview after this. But even if she says no, it's fine. Most importantly, I just want her to know because I know Anna has been whipped up in this pain and suffering and trauma of ends and means and also her, her friend right there Valerie I believe is a victim of emotional abuse so seeing test edits of my documentary and Tova's documentary at the same time but mostly me because those are my footage you know um and I edited it um hopefully gives her a little bit of hope you know when I mentioned the documentary to her and she's like, oh, the one to take down Cuchillo. And I'm like, oh, well, that's not necessarily its goal, but, you know. Um, but yeah, there, there's that. Anyways. Um, I thought Cliff and Kiara and everyone are going to hang out and get something to eat together. But that didn't happen. Cliff's parents are here. Kiara's eating with his uh, her ex-husband. And I have nowhere to go. Jonathan was like, hey, if you need a ride home, just tell me. And I'm like, okay. So Jonathan's parents, Jonathan's dad, drove me home. I saw his parents. They were both really nice. And they drove me directly home. I was expecting that they would bring me to the metro station. But no, directly home. yippee ki -yay. I also told Jonathan about my moving thing. And told him, hey, I may need your help moving. And he's like, sure. Which is great. So again, like I've said many times. Connections is the only tool I have in my toolbox. Um, and it's the only way I can survive. Pretty much. Um, Jonathan's parents were even like, Hey, don't worry, we'll treat you to dinner because you just graduated. And I'm like, nah, it's fine. Um, which is cool. So now I'm cooking rice, mackerel, and bok choy. Really simple rudimentary dinner. I will have to eat some ice cream tonight to fill up those calorie counts. Um, but yeah. Okay, two more things. This morning... Liam responded with, uh, sure, I'll do it. Liam may have, the thing is, the relationship, the relationship between me and Liam right now is actually pretty good. Like, after the whole writer's room thing and after, you know, us sending Cuchillo memes to each other. So Liam definitely doesn't want to burn the bridge between us as well. So Liam's like, just, I agree to do it. Let's, let's find a date and time. You know, I just... I'm just, you know, asking you about other people's interviews because, you know, I just didn't want to say the wrong thing, you know, you know, I don't want Cuchillo to retaliate uh, in his words. And I'm like, oh, totally, I get it. So I told Nadja about it. I told Tova. Um, we're set to interview sometime after I return from Seattle. Maybe a Tuesday, maybe a Wednesday. Who knows? That's one thing. That's really exciting. Really cool. Number two. I strongly and firmly believe that I have chosen and I found the apartment. It's not perfect. And I found another major flaw. And that is, it has one fridge. Seven tenants. One fucking fridge. Um, now, in the defense of this apartment... Just because it has seven rooms doesn't mean all seven people are going to move in, right? If it's five tenants, I can still manage it because right now it's basically that. 
or not really, actually. Another thing is, it's gonna be stupid, but I can buy a mini fridge. Um, I, that's what the property manager also told me. Well, you can buy a mini fridge. Fine, if it's better for the long term, then sure. Um, one thing though is like, meats, you know, meats and vegetables are best kept in the actual fridge. If I have a mini fridge either in my own room or outside, if it's in, if it's outside then I can add more stuff, but if it's in my own room, I, I don't know, maybe I would, I, I would only put drinks in there and ice cream and like, not meat, because that's in my room, no. Um, maybe frozen things, I don't know, but, but, um, yeah, there are definitely, I just went to Google spreadsheet, oh, I also had a stomach ache before I left today, but again, I'm like an expert when it comes to stomach aches, so I just moved on, and I didn't, you know, feel anything anymore, um, pros and cons, right, as you can see, the pros outweigh the cons, a lot. The pros include cheap rent, slightly cheap, uh, more expensive than this, but still cheap for um, what it is. Uh, slightly closer to campus, closer to Ralph's, okay close to H Mart, slightly bigger room, clean, brand new, no pest, hopefully, within the DPS zone. That's extremely important. Filtered water, furnished, private bathroom, in-unit laundry, and better neighborhood. For the cons, it is um, still a little bit far from campus, which there's no solution. I just got to wake up early and check the bus schedule or, or check the transit app for bus 38. That or I walk, you know. But um, the good thing is I have two morning classes next semester and both of them are just not that early one is 10 a.m the other is at 11 so it's not the end of the world has stairs which is a bit of an issue so i'm probably going to keep a lot of things upstairs i'm going to seclude myself even more i almost forgot that back in sawtell a lot of my stuff like documents and snacks are outside of the cabinet i can't do that anymore so right now I have snacks here, and all my documents are almost in this drawer, um, and also like this mess. I gotta figure out a way to do put all that into my new room. Number third, um, smaller table, smaller closet, and again only one fridge. That means I'll have to buy a small uh, cabinet maybe like this one maybe something a little bit more advanced but i'm gonna have to buy a little furniture if that means i can stay there for long term and by long term i mean at least two years maybe even three years maybe even four years maybe who knows then it, it'll be worth it you know but um yeah i think i'm gonna sign the lease and go with this one. Oh, finally one more thing Jonathan asked me if I wanted to watch I Saw the TV Glow with him tomorrow at Long Beach at night. It's cool, but then I realized, yeah, out of curiosity, I checked the Beast showtimes. Turns out, there's one more showtime in the entire LA. And that's tomorrow at 1pm at Beverly Hills. And I don't want to wake up early, I'm tired. But... If this movie never gets on streaming, or like gets on streaming very, very late, um, I, you know what, screw it. So just now, I bought the ticket. So this means tomorrow I need to wake up early again. Yippee fucking Kaye, guys. Um, and then I'll directly go to H Mart after watching the movie. From Beverly Hills to K-Town. Um, and then I'll go to H Mart, buy food, come home. That is the plan. Um, yeah, that's it. 
and I'll probably go back to gym on Thursday if my body's still sore. It's, it's even, it's, it's really sore right now. It's crazy. My back is sore in ways that I don't know is possible. Um, maybe I'll push the gym to Friday, you know, but, uh, yeah. And, uh, packing commences. Packing commences. I'm going to Seattle. But yeah, today overall, pretty, pretty great. You know, last week I was really sad and depressed. Suddenly today, I question myself, why am I sad in the first place? I got so many friends, you know. And, uh, yeah, people are just nice. Like, I don't know, it's just very weird. Like, if I go back to Hong Kong, I feel super alone and, you know, people don't invite me to places. But in here, even though people still don't invite me to places, but in here, it's it's better. Like, Victor saw me and was, like, fist bumping me and hugged me and was like, hey, what's up, you know. It's just... The hospitality. Whoa. You know? <sighs> Alright, time now is 11.19am on June 12. Um, I slept from 4.50 again till 11. Woke up by an alarm. Even though it's like six hours, um, and I immediately fell asleep um, because I was just so tired. Um, I still feel tired. Six hours shouldn't be that bad, but for some reason, I just cannot. So I don't think I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I think I'm sleeping all day tomorrow. Um, yeah, so... God damn, so, yeah, fuck, um, today I'm going to Beverly Hills to watch a film, and then I'm going to H Mart, now I have an insane plan, um, not insane, it's just, I have a weird kooky plan. Now, as much as I love, love, love to save money, um, I, I'm going to take an Uber to the cinema. Because the thing is, if I want to get to Beverly Hills from here, it's going to take one whole hour. Um, and I just don't have that time. The movie starts at 1.05 p.m. That means I have to leave by 12. Which means if I want to uh, have lunch, have breakfast, film a review, I need to wake up at like, I don't know, 10.30 or something. Or maybe even earlier. Um, which is terrible. I don't want that. I want just a little bit more of sleep. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to take a bus there. Um, however, I am actually going to take a bus. After the film, I'll take a bus to H Mart. It's a 40 minutes bus, but it is just one bus. Just directly westward or eastward. And then after H Mart, I'll take another bus and go back down. Um... Yeah, so, um, that's the plan. I also planned out all the meals I'm going to have until July 17th, June 17th, and I realized that I have a lot of food, so I don't know what to do. I have so much food, it's crazy. I have dumplings, I have half a chicken pot pie. I have so many noodles, rice noodles, tomato soup packets, um... So honestly, today I'm not going to spend too much money in H Mart either. I'm only buying the things that I needed to buy in order to survive till the 17th. Um, and then yeah, maybe I'll go for a sushi night, but I'll reconsider it because I already have a lot of food. So um, 
yeah, maybe I'll do just Japanese curry rice and I, I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, um, nothing else to say. Um, I still haven't signed the lease for the new apartment. It's still easily the best choice I have so far. But the, but the closet, man. The closet is nothing. The closet doesn't hold anything. It's an empty cabinet. With no, no dividings, nothing. So, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'll, I'll have to buy two more shelves. I have to buy a drawer and a bookshelf. Uh, a drawer for the clothes and um, a bookshelf for all my Blu-rays and maybe another shelf for all my paper and stuff like that. I feel like I'm gonna have to buy quite a bit of furniture even though it's already furnished. Um, yeah so uh, but then again if I'm living there long term I think it's fine like you know, it's a bit of money, sure. But, um, yeah, if it's long term, I think, uh, if I, if I'm gonna stay in that place for like three years, four years, I think it's fine having all that furniture. But yeah. <sighs> Fuck. I don't know if I ha even have the space to put all that. But yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, just took a took a lift. C'est difficile pour ça. Pour moi, c'est plein d'inventions, mais c'est difficile de trouver le sentiment à l'intérieur de. In two minutes, if you don't see me, I'm so magnificent. I deserve girls. Hi. Okay, time now is 8.55 p.m. Um, yeah, um, not too much happened today. I went to, um, <clears throat> my entire room smells like onions now. It smells like fried onions. Mmm. So, um, yeah, um, I woke up early today to go to, uh, the uh, Lumiere Music Hall at Beverly Hills to watch. Uh, the Beast, uh, the French film, and I spent $28 on a lift ride to watch it. Um, and truth be told, while it was my intention to spend the money to take a lift there, um, I feel a little cheated on because the film isn't that great. And the fact that I spent $28 to ride there, plus $10.5 to watch the film, I spent a total of uh, about almost $39 to watch the movie. I mean, and it's not, it's good movie, but it's not worth watching on the big screen, in my opinion. Um, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. But anyways, I, I've spent more, like, watching a film. I know, like, you know, 
Ashes of Time, when I watched that film with Potter last year, um, I believe September, um, I spent, or not Ashes of Time, like the other, The Holy Mountain, when I watched that at the Secret Movie Club, I took an Uber there and I took an Uber back, which is like $60 or something. So anyways, it's whatever. And then I took a bus to H Mart, bought some stuff, very, very tiny, minimal amount of stuff, 30 bucks, came back home, and I've been, I'm really tired. You know, even though I've been having pretty good sleep lately, you have to admit that today and the last two days combined, I didn't really sleep that much. Um, so tomorrow I'm not going to the gym. I'm going to the gym on Friday. I'm not going tomorrow. I'm sleeping all day. Um, that's the truth. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm tired. I actually fell asleep a little bit in the middle of the film. And then just now I was too tired to really do anything. Um, but I do have a little thoughts. Um, first of all, um, housing, the big issue at hand. I am pretty much 100% choosing the one I saw, the third place at Triple Link. Uh, the third spot, but um, this and I say pretty much and not absolutely because this morning I was thrown a curveball. Some random dude from Apartment.com uh, texted me saying, "Hey, there's this spot that you might be interested in, and it's super close. It's literally half a street away. Literally the same street, um, or maybe the street. Yeah, it's, I think it's the same street, um, but on the other side." Um, but it's the same square, you know, um, um, and it is a little cheaper and I was also sent a video and apparently there's, uh, a closet that is bigger, about the same size as this, but bigger than the triple link spot and a table where, uh, that actually looks similar to my old Sawtel triple link table with two, uh, two, two boards. Uh, where I can play stuff on. Um, and I thought to myself, oh my god, maybe if I move there, it would, you know, save me a little time and money for buying furniture. Um, so I've been doing some thinking. Again, the closet thing, again, I'm living there long term. And I know that there's no perfect place to live in. But Man, I don't want to spend money to buy another closet and another cabinet and another drawer and another whatever. I really just can't. So, um, I, I don't know. Genuinely don't know. I've been giving some thought. I even texted the property manager of Triple Link, the Chinese girl, and I asked her, uh, what about the closet? It's a very specific question, but it is a genuine question, right? Because I saw the closet. I went back to my video, the video I filmed when I location scouted for places, um, and I saw the closet, um, and it's it's like this, but right now the this closet has three doors, right? Three doors. The closet in the tripling room only has two, which is fucking small. This is already small. Two doors? No fucking way. So I asked her if it's like a completely empty closet where there's a bar above and then you hang hangers that kind of situation or is it like a cabinet closet where you open up and you see multiple sections you know turns out it's a half and half there are two doors so one half is like cabinets and the other half is like you know you can hang stuff um but even so it's still not big enough um but that's good to know that at least there are some sections but only some so, right now, um, I'm still leaning on Triple Link because it's within the DPS zone. And also, I feel like if it's within the DPS zone, it's more likely that USC students will live there, which will also really help me in the long run. But again, it's all speculation. It's all speculation indeed. Now, with the closet, I'll still have to buy something. Small two-door closet is not enough for sure. 100% not enough. Um, I will, okay, so I will buy a bookshelf first and foremost. I'll buy a bookshelf, get all the Blu-rays from there, and go get all the Blu-rays and maybe mangas from here, and put all of those there. 
something like a like a shelf and also place paper stuff there i guess um and then i'll have some space freed up in these cabinets so maybe i'll put clothes in these cabinets instead or paperwork um actually it's important for me to put paper in these closed cabinets because uh, and not shelves because um i think um i don't want dust on my paper and i think if i expose the paper uh, it's going to attract silverfish um which i actually haven't seen in la i believe i'm not sure um but i'll be buying a bookshelf even if it's a mini bookshelf i'll be buying something like that um um and then i'll be buying a drawer um yeah for clothes i wonder if there's like a bookshelf drawer combo wombo that i can buy that would help a lot because i only need the shelf for the blu-rays right and i don't know if i have enough space i already have one table and two plastic cabinets i really don't know if i have more space um but yeah but i think um i'll figure it out i'll definitely figure it out um <coughs> but yeah so i'll be buying a bookshelf and a drawer i believe um and the drawer will be for both clothes and paperwork yeah oh, what's happening upstairs i don't know okay which is not the end of the world it's gonna cost me a sum maybe a hundred bucks but i think for the long run it's probably a good idea and then i'll buy some other things like a vacuum cleaner um yeah yeah that's it um so yeah i don't know um but it's likely that i'll stay with the tripling spot it just feels right um but then again there's no perfect place like i'm ending up with triple link like it's and it's a company well known for being bad um but either way i'm gonna go for a tour for that spot but i feel like i'll be signing the lease for the triple link one but yeah, I'll be touring that place uh, maybe on Saturday. Okay, well, that's one thing. Uh, next thing is about packing and leaving. So today, um, it's tradition where before I leave the US, I always have a final something, a final Ralphs, final, it's always final Ralphs, right? But today is more like a final H Mart. Um, and I say final, but again, it feels weird because I'm going to Seattle and I'm coming back for 10 more days. Um, so, um, <clears throat> not too sure, right? Not too sure, um, <laughs> I, I just had a whole string of thoughts, um, about Liam's interview and what day we should do that. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, H Mart went to H Mart. I will go to Trader Joe's maybe tomorrow. Maybe either tomorrow or on Friday right after gym. I think Friday makes more sense. Um, but yeah, it is the end. And it feels weird that I'm doing this again. Um, and it feels like the final something, you know. Um, the semester ended four weeks ago and lock and no particular night seems like the climax and then um the graduation ceremony yesterday was like the final final and then right now i'm sort of in this epilogue or denouement or something like that um it's a strange feeling but i could feel it i could feel the ending coming again <laughs> i could feel it happening again um and um yeah so i look forward i very much look forward to going to seattle very much i think it's a very much needed breath of fresh air to me it's traveling but also not really because i'm I, i'm not really leaving the country i'm not leaving usa 
but it is in, in some ways traveling, right? Um, but it's going to be interesting because it's the first time I'm going to another place in the USA. But I've already lived here in the USA. I mean, the first time is Santa Barbara, actually, but I didn't really stay there overnight. But I don't know, I feel like last time I went to Seattle, I'm still visiting as a tourist. But this time, I feel more like a citizen than a tourist, even though I don't have a green card. I don't have an American passport, but I feel more like a citizen now. Um, but I know Seattle is different from LA. I'm not a tourist in LA. I'm a freaking student here. Um, and instead of going to tourist attractions and being all, you know, yippee and being all happy, I'm, you know, struggling and going to places. But, um, but yeah, very, very much excited to see my family and take a, take a rest. Um, but Earlier this morning, I just realized that if I go to Seattle, it's going to be a whole week where I can't film any YouTube videos, nor will I have time to edit any videos, I feel like, um, which is going to be tough. So I realized that I'm going to have to start grinding some YouTube videos and maybe save a couple videos so that I could um, upload it during the, you know, the trip at, to Seattle. Um, yeah. Damn. So that's one thing. The other is packing. Now, little do I know, it's June 12th right now, and I'm leaving in five days. So I gotta start packing, or at least I gotta start doing something. Now, good thing is I'm not moving, so I don't need to destroy the whole place and set it back to square one. But I still need to start throwing trash and just, yeah, thinking about, um... Oh, I just realized my roommate's plants. Fuck. Who's going to water them? I don't know. Um. Fuck. Um. I, I'm going to DM him later. But, um, yeah. There's a lot to be done. So, um. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, um. I have to go back to, I need to use something as a reference. If I have to use anything as a reference, it would be the time, the two times I left um, to, to Hong Kong between round one, after round one, and then the time I went to Japan after round two, where all my stuff stayed at the Sawtelle place, but I still left. Like, I need to... Remove things from flat surfaces um, to avoid dust, stuff like that. And then I'll probably leave my blanket here, but then after I go back home, I'll have to wash it, basically. Um, yeah, nothing's impossible. I survived day one of round four. I can survive anything. I survived Mexico. I can survive anything. Um, okay. I guess the final thing I'd like to talk about is just the feeling of ending finale again the fourth time it had happened every time it feels a little different but also it feels a little similar it's ending um things are resolved no more homework assignments no more film sets you know no more grudges no love no romance no hope no dread no nothing just emptiness i'm reaching that state again um yeah, I just, I don't really want to think about romance. And again, like, I feel like over the last two years, I've been training myself to not think about it. Um, and also after the graduation ceremony yesterday, I realized that I looked at the photos and I looked like, hey, hi, I looked like a, an idiot. But for some reason, a lot of people still treat me really nice. Um, and I'm just like, well... You know that stereotype of a lonely like, incel kind of character who just shuts himself in his bedroom and just like doesn't speak to women? I'm not like that actually. I actually like go outside and talk to people and I'm proactive on a film set, you know. I'm actually not doing so bad after all. 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, regardless, regardless, um, I genuinely don't know. I just, um, I still really want to meet more Hong Kongers because I want to find an interesting Hong Konger girl. But I do realize that if all Hong Konger girls I will meet Next semester and next year are all dumb, shallow, you know. I I wouldn't mind if an interesting Taiwanese girl comes up. I probably wouldn't date a Chinese person though. Let's be let's be real here. I think there's just too much political tension going on. Um But um yeah, and think about it. If Mary doesn't exist, I would have probably had a crush on Natalie. Um, and she's Singaporean. So I don't mind, like, Singaporean, Malaysian. Honestly, I should, you know. But even so, all I need is an interesting person. All I need is an interesting girl, like... I feel like no one I've met so far are all that interesting. Um, there's a certain aromanticism in the air, but um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. There's a small hope inside me. I don't know why. I feel like last week I was at the bottom of the barrel in terms of like hopelessness. But right now I have a little hope. Not in terms of, oh, there's a girl I really like and I think the girl likes me back. But in terms of, you know what, I'll get there. I'll somehow get there. And I don't know, I don't know in what way or how... I don't know if I'll fall in love with another mentally ill, mentally unstable, alcoholic, crazy person. Maybe I will, or maybe my taste will continue to change throughout time. Maybe I'll fall in love with someone healthy next time, mentally and physically. Um, I genuinely don't know. But um, from here on out, I'd like to um, avoid any conversations publicly about romance from here on out. Um, let's just not even talk about it. What's so important about it? You know, what's what's so what's so urgent about it? Um, yeah. My back is still sore as fuck. Um, yeah, also I have sushi. I'm going to have sushi night. Oh, and the next few days I'm going to be eating so much food because I'm going to clean up food from my fridge. And it's ironic because I'm buying food from Trader Joe's, but I'm also feeding myself too much. But I'm buying food like salad because I genuinely need it. But like, I have too many noodles. Um, I can let it stay in the fridge, but I don't know. I also forgot to mention that the Vibe Bank thing is still not working. Um. Oh, fuck me. So, I need to solve this problem before I go to Seattle. And I just lost $2.99 earlier this morning. Again. Because I have the account. I keep, they keep stealing money from me. So, uh, I went to my Vibe Bank FAQ page and I was about to report the problem again for the umpteenth time. And as it turns out, they sent me a message saying that the only way I could do this right now, or, or they implied that the only way I could do this right now is to literally withdraw cash from either an ATM or like a bank teller. So I'm going to try that shit. I'm going to go to an ATM. I don't know where. I don't know how. Maybe in the main campus. I'm not sure. I'm going to go to an ATM and try to withdraw that shit. That's the plan. If it doesn't work, we're fucking suing the company. Okay, we're suing them. No questions asked. Whew. 
Futomaki. What? Shrimp tempura. Seasoned. Okay, which one should I try first? Let's try this one. Also, this is really expensive. This two together is $14. So this is basically like eating outside. Um, well, if this is outside, this would be at least 20 bucks. Welcome to LA. Well, this is shrimp tempura. Um, I don't know what's this thin white skin outside. But yeah, let's try it out. The tempura definitely lost its crunch, and the rice is a little dry because I put it in the fridge for like a few hours, but it's got the taste. All right, let's try this. Hutomaki. It appears it has pickled radish. More pickled radish? I don't know. Avocado, tuna, salmon. This is another kind of fish. I don't know what it is. Crab fake crab meat and uh, egg let's try this out Ooh, big piece all right here we go Not too bad. Thank you. 